Hey everyone, it's Chris from Flag House, and today I'm here with Colleen McCurry to look at some great basketball starter drills. We're going to show you some great activities where we're using these super grip basketballs. They're, they add this tactile feel to the ball, which makes developing those fine motor skills even easier for students and better sensation when they're trying to learn how to shoot the basketball. So stay tuned because Colleen's got some awesome activities coming up next on the Flag House Activity Channel. All right, so we're going to feature the super grip ball and the intermediate size basketball today, and we're gonna be doing some different drills and skills that help us cross the midline, develop some fine finger movement, and work on some of our lead up skills to a basketball game. Here we go. So when we're gonna do the first activity, we're working on fine finger movement, which means small movement with each finger. I want you to use the pad of your thumb, not the tip of your thumb, right? As you, just like you would if you were dribbling a ball, you'd use the pad of your finger. So you're gonna start off with your ball on the right side, and you're gonna use the pad of your thumb, and you're just gonna have a nice little dribble right here on the side of your body. Okay, so using just your thumb. Now go to your pointer finger. Okay, and your pinky, and stop your ball. Okay, now you're gonna round your palm and you're gonna try to palm up your basketball. So you palm it to a dribble, and you palm it to a dribble. There you go, see if you can get that. Now, we're gonna separate your legs just a little bit, have a little straddle. We're gonna do, we're gonna do 10 dribbles on our right, then we're gonna bring it inside and do 10 dribbles with our right hand, then we're gonna go 10 dribbles with our left hand, and then 10 dribbles outside on our left side. So it's right, right, left, left. Are we ready? Here we go. And Okay, let's leave the ball on our left side. Right, now we're gonna, we're gonna dribble again using our individual fingers, ready? Just your thumb on your left side of your body. See if we can get that ball on there, that's a tough one. And stop our ball, and palm it up. Okay, so now, right, when you're working on dribbling, right, you wanna make sure that, again, you're using the pads of your fingers, you don't want your palm to touch the ball. So when you're doing dribble tag, okay, you're going to dribble your ball, right, but your job will be to maintain your, your dribble while attempting to push somebody else's ball out from them so that it goes outside of the basketball key. If I can get to it before it goes out, I'm still in. I can just go get my ball and continue dribbling. But I can't stop dribbling my ball to knock her ball out. Are you ready? Here we go, ready, go. Try to stay in the paint. Oh, good try. Okay, so dribble it halfway around. Yep, just a half court, right there, Sam. Oh, only two here, so you're both still in. We're gonna play a game called tic-tac-toe basketball. So come on over, we have how many, six? Okay, so we're gonna go three and three. Okay, so here's how the game works. When I say go, you're going to choose a box that you wanna start in. So maybe Martin's gonna choose the box that he's in right now. He can shoot anywhere from inside that box. If he makes a shot, go ahead and take a shot, Martin. Okay, he made the shot, so his, so Hugo will help him out and go ahead and put a marker in his spot. He's going to hand the ball to, he's going to rebound his own ball. Hugo's going to go somewhere else, right, because he's trying to get tic-tac-toe, and he's going to shoot a shot. If they get it, they get to drop their piece in the tic-tac-toe board. If you miss, you don't put your, your piece down. Only one person can shoot in a box at a time. So Bryn can shoot at the same time as Hugo, but they cannot shoot from the same box at the same time. Okay? Are you ready? Set, go. Okay, someone put the piece down for her, and Logan, you can shoot. Okay, keep going. Oh, good try, Sam. Someone help him rebound it. Okay, take a spot, B. Okay, put a board, put a piece down. Put it here, put it here. Did you win? All right, nice job. This is bowling basketball. So we're going to use some of those skills that we worked on earlier, and you're going to roll your basketball out. You may not throw it overhand. You've got to roll it like a bowling ball, and you need to roll it from behind the black line at your corner. The first team 
to hit the pin and knock it over becomes the shooting team, okay? And you're going to be the shooting team and you're going to come over and you're going to shoot layups. If my team is not the team who hit the pin, then we're going to come over underneath this basket and we're going, so come on over Sam. If my, our team didn't hit the ball, we're gonna be on either sides and we're gonna do 10 chest passes while the other team who hit the pin down is shooting basketballs. As soon as we yell stop, then they, they stop shooting and everybody goes back to their own side and they get ready to bowl the next round of the game. Okay, you, you roll it back and see if you can knock that. Oh, Logan's team got it, so they're shooting. As soon as Martin gets here, you can start chest passing. One, count it out loud. Layups. Ready? One, two. Okay. Okay, so today we had a sample of a lot of different ways we can use a basketball, traditional basketball style, or other ways like bowling basketball and other games that we can do that help us work on our fine finger movement and also help us work on getting a good low base of support and crossing the midline. It was a great workout using different styles of basketballs. Thank you so much for checking out our videos. Please like, share, or drop us a comment, and you definitely want to subscribe to our channel. We always have a new episode every Wednesday morning. Click these links for more videos or access to the Flag House Activity Guide page. See you next time.